I am fully aware of the kind of unfortunate kidnapping going on at this particular part of the country. Well, as you all know, these non-state actors can never hold our people to ransom. So I indulge the commander. As the chief of the House of Belgium's houses, we're going to post in more personnel here for them to have a very, very restful environment after a good day's job. So I expect we will all be at the headquarters and watch to ensure that the people of Oshun and generally the Southwest and the entire country very soon should be able to go about their normal business without being molested by these non-state actors that are rearing their heads almost every day. The most precious resource of the military it is personnel. Giving attention to the welfare of Air Force officers a man is therefore a real contribution to the nation's military strength and capacity. It is on the basis of this realization that I would like to salute the vision and leadership of the Chief of Air Staff and appreciate his contributions to the security needs of the nation. In the meantime, the Nigerian army is introducing new operational strategies it believes will force Boko Haram insurgents into submission. The super camp response area and strong response area strategies are being set up with the ultimate aim of forcing militants to surrender and cut off their economic activities. The latest from the Nigerian army was announced by the general officer commanding 7th Division, Brigadier General Abdul Ibrahim, when touring units under the 7th Division garrison. He also engaged troops of 211 and 251 battalion while taking stock of equipment available to troops. What we have now is the super camp concept. And the super camp concept is a concept in warfare whereby we have strongly held positions where we are able to have reasonable resources within the super camps. And then from the super camps, we are able to project power out. We have another concept, which is the uh, response areas. These are areas that will be manned on wheels. We have response areas and then strong response areas. That is RAs and SRA. And the essence of this is that they should be able to carry out patrols from those areas, carry out raids, ambushes, and what have you. We still have remnants of this uh, terrorists marauding about and that's why we came up with this concept we should be able to take the fight to them we should have greater mobility and then uh, our ultimate aim is to force them you know to surrender